Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chak, Radash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great Muslim, that were well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and Abba Baba Ball. Back at it with another lesson to the spirit of power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this video is uh, edifying. And without further ado, just want to get right into it through the spirit. This is an exhortation, man. We have to keep fighting in this thing because there is a reward. You know, there is a reward for serving the Lord. All right. The Lord is just. All right. He's very just and righteous in all the things he does. Okay. So in the part of the scriptures is what? If a man works for you, you pay him his wages. You see? So the Lord, we're working for the Lord. He's hired us. We're working for him. So guess what, man? He's going to pay us our wages. Okay. So just a little exhortation I want to bring out through the spirit. Lord willing, this video is edifying. So let's go ahead and start off with Psalms 58. Psalms 58 and 11. I'll start at verse 10. Psalms 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Yeah, the righteous is going to rejoice when we see the Lord uh, uh, avenging us upon this place, man. All right. You know, uh, getting back our enemies for the things that they've done unto us. Like it tells us in Revelation, the 18th chapter, you know. All right. Verse 11. So that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judgeth in the earth. Point being what? Verily, there is a reward for the righteous, man. So the Lord, he's going to recompense us for our works. All right. He's going to, uh, he's going to, uh, recompense us for our works that we have done according to his righteousness and to his name. All right. Hebrews 6 and verse 10. It says, for Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name. And that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Right. So the Lord, he's not unrighteous to forget our works, man. All right. Men can forget your works. But Yahweh Shai, nothing, no thought escapes him. You see, so the Lord, he's not going to forget our works. All right. This is uh, verse 11. And we desire that every one of you do shoot the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Yeah, so we have to be diligent. At, uh, um, You know. All the way to the end of our salvation It's not, you know, when you first come into truth You're on fire, you're diligent, you serving the Lord Week in, week out, you're watching the videos Every day, and then, you know A couple years, you're in the truth, now all of a sudden You think you could take a break, no Scripture says, he that endureth to the end, the same Shall be saved, okay Verse 12 That ye be not slothful But followers of them who through faith and patience Inherit the promises That's right, and what are those promises? Part of those promises is the kingdom of heaven, rulership you know, new bodies, uh, getting the laws put inside of us, fearing the Lord. You know, it's going to be a glorious thing, man. It's going to be a glorious thing. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and continue. Let's go to the book of uh, Sirach 51 and uh, verse 26. 